by the same token, you could say the same about anyone that invests in the US markets. Do they know really what, what they're investing in from a, from a company perspective? But I've got to ask you, because you did mention, you know, the, the prevailing economic conditions in Japan. Do you not think, though, that because of the way, you know, it's the, the secret command economy that no one really wants to talk about with the way that it, the, the, the entirety of the economy and the government structure is structured, that they're going to do whatever it takes to maintain what we have been seeing now because it is so important in order to achieve the other goals, you know, in order to achieve the wage pressure upside, in order to achieve the capex upside, to maintain some semblance of stability when it does come to their equity markets, in order to, to keep that speculation, that, that, that movement going, that they'll do whatever it takes that, and then it puts the floor on the downside. Yeah, we don't think that there'll be as much downside for Japan in a negative macro scenario as other markets. Um, as you mentioned, uh, the government will um, go all out in terms of um, trying to make the market more attractive for investment because things have, it's, it's kind of a perfect storm at the moment, given that inflation for Japan is not necessarily especially negative, especially if um, mindsets can change. The yen is very cheap. Um, so there's a lot of tailwinds for the government and there's also a sense that if there's any moment for them to actually right the ship and kind of turn things around, this is probably it. So they're not going to um, let this chance get away. So from that perspective, there should be a lot of uh, support from policy changes and that should add on to a lot of sort of underlying slow improvements that have been happening over the last few years in terms of governance and capital efficiency and companies just raising margins and sort of um, just becoming more competitive overall, um, cleaning up their balance sheets. So there's a lot of positives and long term we're exceedingly bullish. Um, what makes us cautious in the short term is just that most investors, especially those um, living overseas, seem to actually have the opposite view where they're relatively bullish short term, but a bit more skeptical on the long term picture, simply because Japan has disappointed numerous times in the past. Um, so our view is kind of the exact opposite of that. We think that short-term people are perhaps a little bit overexcited and expecting too much too soon. But in terms of the long-term picture, we're actually exceedingly bullish. And we think that Japan bottomed probably just before Abenomics and it's been slowly improving. And I think now the investors particularly the investors who've been looking at Japan very closely right. even through its very fallow period, they seem right. to be rather structurally bullish. 